Okay, I'm about to put in some page numbers on a report that I have here. And in order to check to see what the page numbers are doing right now, I'm just going to start with section two here. And just to see what happens, I go over to the word page number while I'm in the header and footer tools. And I go down to the words current position and I click on one. When I do this, I see that I have a zero on the table of contents page and I have a zero and another zero and then I go to two, and in any case, all of the numbers aren't working. So what do I need to do? Well, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get rid of that page number because it actually doesn't work. And then I have to take a look at my headers right now. The first thing you wanna determine is whether your headers are actually set up correctly, and I can tell right away that in fact, my headers are not. How do I know that? Well, when I click on my very first page, that is the cover of my report, it says over here, first page header, section one. What that means is that the Word software program determines that this is a first page. And when we look over here at the design tab, that this is going to be different than any other pages. We want that because we don't want a page number. And we do not want Word to consider that in the table of contents as an actual page. However, when I click over here in section two, the same thing happens. It says first page header once again. And that's your first mistake. Sometimes that automatically comes up and you have to deselect that for section two. Why do you do that? Because you do want where to recognize the table of contents as a page. We just don't want a page number on there. So I'm going to deselect different first page for section two. The title changes now from first page header section two to just the word header. I go down to section three and aha, I see the same thing has happened here. So I deselect different first page and I do the same thing for section four. I deselect them. Now, as I continue down, you can see that there's no more first page. The only place where I have that is actually located where it should be on the very first page. The other thing I need to do is I need to take, take out these numbers. So I'm going to do that as well. And so I have no numbers. And now my sections uh, are, have headers that are entitled the way they should be. Let's find out what we do next. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to see what happens uh, when I clean the area up. So what I want to do is I want to go to section four and I want to click in the header and then I'm going to go over to page number while I'm in the header and footer tools and I'm going to go down to format page numbers. And to begin with, I want the program to recognize that there is a continuation of the numbering system from the previous section. So I click on continue from previous section and I click on OK. I do that same thing for section three. I go to section three, I go to the word page number, I go down to format page numbers and I make sure that it continues from the previous section. So I'm doing this so that there's a recognition that in fact we're going to start on a specific page and we're going to continue onward. I do the same thing for section two. I go up to the word page number while in the header and footer group. I go to format page number and I click on continue from previous section. So now that I cleaned up my headers and now that I have them actually recognizing the, the numbers are going to continue from the previous section, the next thing I'm going to do is just try this out again. So now I'm going to go back up to page numbers, go to current position, and plain number. Aha! Now I have number one appearing on the table of contents page. Although I don't want a number there, I certainly want it to be recognized as page number one. Let's see what happens next. Yes, I do want the second page of my document to be in fact dedicated. That is the second page, um, the first page of the actual content and the body to be number two, and then the page three to be recognized as well. So now it becomes easy. All I have to do now is take out this number so that it no longer appears, although it is recognized. To do that, if I was just to take it out and press backspace, for instance, then it would take out all the numbers. Why is that? Because all of these headers are connected. So I'm gonna put the number back in, and then what I'm going to do is while I'm in this header, I'm going to unlink this page from all other pages by deselecting link to previous. What happens then is this link option that showed up on the right hand side of my footer disappears. I'm going to do the same thing for section three. 
I'm going to click in that header. I'm going to unlink to previous. And then I'll do the same thing for section four. Now I have to ensure that I'm actually on page three. I'm just going to unlink it. Now, I only actually unlink the first few pages because I want the rest of section four, in fact, to be linked because I do want the page numbers to appear. So now all I'll have to do is take out the page numbers on the table of contents page. I do so and it only takes that number out without actually taking the number out on the body page. Do the same thing there. And now I have page three on the page where I want it to appear. So what we've done is we've cleaned up the headers, we've reformatted the page numbers, and then we've unlinked those page numbers so that we can delete page numbers from specific pages. And that is how you fix your page numbers.